Dude, are you Team Johnny or Team Amber? Team Johnny. It's not even are close. You? It's not even close. Are you? Yeah. Are you? All day. Are you for sure? I'm not even going to open Are you my for eyes. real? Are you for real? I'm telling you. Do you think she's shit in the bed? 100%. You are despicable. Dude, careful. <laughs> Did you forget? <laughs> Realist podcast. Welcome back to the UI Here Podcast. You already know this is the f- number one podcast to find your Amber Heard and Johnny Depp trial uh, knowledge and su- support for Johnny Depp. <laughs> uh, shout out to the patrons. Patreon.com slash UI Here Podcast. Um, welcome back. Welcome home, man. Welcome back. We welcome. are back. It is. Let's just put it out there. Let's be real. Because you know we keep it real. Always. Right? Always. You know this is the UI Here Podcast. Yep. You know that that sign has been on that wall. And we said that we were going to get a sign, but we really never got it. Never got it. Right? Don't have the money for it right now. You know what I mean? And your boy paid 1500 for car stuff. And your boy still doesn't have money for it. Uh, my math, 2500 is what you paid. <laughs> You're probably I'm correct, in, dude. I'm basically, I got to just... I'm going to basically go bankrupt over my car. Yeah. Um, But we're here, man. And that doesn't matter. We're here to have it. We're here to have a real talk, man. We're here to, we're have we're here to just come, come together. Yep every week that's right on a now tuesday that's what we swore to and we're here and we're tired right no throat burps today okay no throat burps today but uh we're here we're tired we're very tired so um, if you want to just ride ride along with us if you're having uh i feel like everyone's a little tired right now yeah it's like, maybe it's the the heat coming in now it's getting warm mm. outside a lot of weddings happening you know a lot of bills being paid. Yep. I'll tell you what, if you're new to the podcast, welcome. You yes. know, I got some crossover um, from some other places. So if you're new to the podcast, I'm Dave. This is Mike. You might know Dave from being just dummy viral on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> As you say every time you walk into my door. I, I always say this to my, your boy went dummy viral again. And I'm just playing. But um, no, if you're new to the podcast, welcome. You know, get cozy, get comfortable, get some water, cozy on up. And uh, yeah, wherever you're at, ride with us. Um, like and subscribe if you if you want to help us out. It helps us out a lot. Uh, this podcast is all about being honest, being truthful in the moment. We usually talk about art with artists, but we're finding there's art everywhere. Yeah, you know the way you express yourself and what you do is your art form. I feel like it's also a rare thing you get to see two dudes kind of open up to. I mean, it's I've very noticed. Rare. I've mm-hmm. noticed. You know, I try to look up. I've honestly been looking and being like, hey, what do we have? Wholesome Homies Podcast. That's why I wanted to bring it up. They're coming up. Dude. He, homies coming next week. Yeah, yeah. Wholesome Homies Podcast. We're going to do a little. We're going to do a little, do a little crossover. We're going to do the podcast, the deal. All right. We're going to do a little exchange. All right. A little exchange. I like that. No, I'm like excited that. to have him on, dude. Me That'll too. be next week if you guys want to tune in. And we're going on theirs too, right? Yeah. Yes. I like that. Yeah. So uh, look forward to that. Um, dude, I wanted to ask you about because because. Wedding happened this weekend. It did. Right? We mentioned it, it last week. Yes. It was wild. It was amazing. It was incredible. Congratulations, to Grace and Evan. Grace I love and you guys. Evan, we love you, man. They're like family to me. I've been initiated officially. Dude, I felt like family when I was there. Yeah. Right? Dude. Right? That's so cool, man. I hope that one day, I just hope one day. You know how you told me about the bow and you were like, you don't have to go all the way down? Yeah. When you're, you know, <laughs> saying hi to the, the yeah. father and the mother stuff? Grace and Evan's father, like when I shook their hands and their mother's? Bowed all the way down. They did? I did. Oh. I did. Did they? Yeah. But I did first. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Because that's respect. So I went, yeah, I went yeah, below yeah. the waist even. I was like, yeah, down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The lower, the better, I yeah, thought. Yeah. No, definitely. I think that's how it is. Mm-hmm. If you want to go full respect, you go 90 degrees. I went 90 degrees, dude. You can even go leave more of a little like Your boy was a energy in there. Perfect right angle. Hell, that's from, dude. Your boy, hey, You're bro. You're in. I got to pay respect. You're in. I remember talking to uh, Grace's father, and uh, I, ne- I never talk. You know, it's so cool when you get to like they know you obviously because mm-hmm. I you go I go over there and you know we hang out and I see them every once in a while. Yeah, yeah. But like, I, I was like a groomsman in the wedding, so I did a little bit more of like you know you were there being with them yeah, throughout yeah. the day, getting dressed to fall the boys. Yep. You know what I mean? And the father's there. Yep. And. Um, it was just cool to like walk around and I was just talking to him, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And like I barely ever talked to him, like one-on-one, mm-hmm. you know? And uh, we were talking about like going, like I was talking about like, we were, we were going along the Liberty State Park, we're walking along the water, and I had a little Benji with me, and oh, a little, wow. little pup. You're walking Cutest Benji. dog. Yeah, I, I was on, I was Benji's 
care. Okay. You know? You're a caretaker. Yeah. So we were talking and uh, I was like, do you ever go like fishing and stuff? Blah, blah, blah. And then like, it was just, you know, I was just making conversation uh-huh. and uh, I could tell that he wanted to like conversate more. You right. know what I mean? Right. So we were talking about like, culture stuff a lot. Wow. It was, I was like, this is cool, man. And he was like, and I remember uh, he was like, oh, I always want to go fishing. He's like, maybe you'll take me. And I was like, you know wow. what? That's so cool. Yeah. You know, yeah. to hear that from like, you know, someone like uh like someone older than you do you know what i mean that you don't know that's what was blowing me away it's huge man well like i told you before like to me what stuck out and i told lena that day i was like emotional watching them do their speeches and the and, and grace's father spoke in total korean yeah and i still was emotional I was yeah like, right some someone was really kind enough to like translate a bit mm. at the table she was real sweet and like translating first but you know i'm watching this guy and he's like giving his daughter away to to evan now and he just seems to have like attempted to create a strong unit and a family that is now present for his daughter's wedding. And, you know, he, he's present for it and he's proud to be up there speaking on her, you know, on his family's behalf for her. And it yeah. was just, it was just beautiful. And then Evan's father, same deal, you know, mothers too. But I'm like, I'm looking at these two guys and I'm like, patriarch. That's the word that kept coming up. Like mm. strong, like guy, emotional fun you know vulnerable at, at least at the wedding what i saw yeah and w- what the gift was for them was like a beautiful day yeah with yeah. all the family out there and they get to experience this love between their two children you know and it was just mm-hmm. like i want to be that so bad one day yeah you know what you know what that day reminded me of what was that it just made me like really think of like oh this is why people do weddings yes right yeah. like this is why the, and then now, I, it made me think like Maybe some, like a lot of people that, I think now it's like with, you know, divorce rates and, mm. you know, how many great, you know, families that stick together like that. Yeah. I think it's, it may be harder to, you know, maybe have that, you yeah. know, maybe that's becoming less common. Yeah. Right. For sure. For sure. So it was just beautiful to be able to be a part of that. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. It's like, I think it's, I want to strive to actually do that. Yeah. You know, have yeah. something that. It felt like, it just felt like love the whole time. Totally. You know what I mean? Totally. You Absolutely. walk in there, it's just, you know what I mean? I know. I, I agree, man. I, f- I felt this, the moment I walked in there, I was like, I didn't feel like I was on the outside of anything. Felt like it was just a, f- a room full of love and everyone was there for the right reasons. And, mm-hmm. and Grace and Evan were like, you know, so meant to be in this moment together. Like the way they danced together, the way yeah. they spoke you know Dude. The, just every, everything about it i was like i can't imagine this is perfect like the day i have to write vows oh is gonna blow my mind hey like, they, they they i i literally was holding back tears so I bad was so bad too i was i was tearing up man, man. that was beautiful i've been then they've been together for a long time yeah and to get to that point finally of like we're gonna do this in front of god yeah. and like make it forever i was like whew. and then and the things that they had to say to each other yeah. i've been saying about the only thing I have left to offer you is my future. And mm. I was like, oh. <laughs> oh. I can't, man. Dagger. That was dagger. Right? Just an emotional, like, dagger to my heart, yeah. dude. And, and, that, and he said it per- It was poetry. Yeah. That's perfect. That's exactly what you're offering. Yeah. It's like, my future. It, it's so cool, too, to, to see, like, two people I've known mm-hmm. for, like, a long time, right? Yep. Yeah. And I've never really seen, you never really see that side of people. For you know sure. what I mean? Especially as friends. For sure. You know what I mean? Obviously, that's a completely different relationship. Absolutely. Um, but to be able to have like a glimpse of that. Oh. And I feel like that's even the most like deep, intimate like moment that could ever be shared. For sure. You know what I mean? For sure. And it's just like broadcast to all the people you love. Yeah. Oh, dude. It's, it, it was so like heartwarming. I just it, felt so good. You get it like one time. Dude. In front of everybody. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's. I remember when it was for me. Like everyone yeah. just disappeared. I remember. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I, I could literally see it in. in their eyes. They were just staring. Yeah, at you, they were and just, that's all they could see. Because the, the moment's so important. It's so yeah, like meaningful. Man. You know it. You know it. It's it's like it's happening right now. Holy mm. shit! I'm never gonna forget this. Um. So how do you feel now? Since I remember a couple weeks ago, you were like, you know, I thought about maybe a month ago thought about weddings you know me being married one day and i'm like you know i'm not really into it anymore and you're like maybe i'll change after i go to grace and evan's wedding i'll see dude how do you feel 100 percent changed wow 100 percent wow 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 you know I, I i don't go to a lot of weddings the last yeah. wedding i went to was yours right? yeah yeah and that was my first wedding in like 10 years probably yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 
Um, but I don't know, man. It's just all I can like the only way I could describe it is like I feel like like uh, from personal like relationships, you know, that I've had in the past. Right. Whatever ways they split apart, whatever problems I had, whatever the the definition of love like changes. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I feel like you know, for me, it changed pretty like. And when it's like on a graph, it definitely went down, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, mm-hmm. for a while. And I was trying to figure out what it was. Like I was trying to figure out stuff about like just my, like who I am and stuff, right? Yeah. I found that. Uh, I'm still working, you know what I mean? But like that thing of love kind of like felt like it was on the back burner. I didn't really think about it anymore. Yeah. Um, but after seeing this, I felt like, dude, love is like alive, uh-huh. right? Love is real, uh-huh. you know? Uh-huh. Sometimes I feel like, man, it's like you can't, you know... I don't know, like it doesn't happen for everyone or something, maybe it happens for everyone, but like you can miss a chance or something like that. But that's literally a whole room of people that are going to eventually, you know, find someone and be together. Right. Mm. You know? Yeah. That's how I like want to look at it. Yeah. That's what it felt like. Yeah. You know, and that made me feel a lot better about it. That's amazing. You know, and I want to strive to be able to, you know what I mean? Find like find people that will come out like that yeah you know yeah 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 i never thought about that it's like i don't want to just do it for myself obviously i want to do it for myself whoever my partner is but i see the importance now of you know being invited to be a groomsman Mm -hmm. being you know invited to to see that intimate moment like the behind the scenes Mm -hmm. almost you know Mm -hmm. you become a part of the experience yeah i feel like i don't know man that's one other thing i want to live for and be able to you know give that you know, to you or to e- yeah, Evan yeah. for my wedding. Yeah. You know, I feel yeah, like that's super yeah, special. Yeah. For sure. I feel like I'm literally like, like I, I was telling you before, I feel like I'm family with mm-hmm. like them now. Yeah. You know. The hell? That was God. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, I love that, dude. I yeah. love that. And I think, I think, you know, that's obviously what's going on. It's like your, your family, you're the friends, of, you know, family that you get to choose through your life and, that's definitely something that's happened with you guys and with us. And it's cool that like you get to create your own tribe, your own unit, your own like family that supports you and loves mm-hmm. you uh, for exactly who you are. And you already know they'll be there. It's not even a question, you know? Um, yeah, dude. That, and that's exactly who Grace and Evan are for sure. Yeah. They're family, dude. So I know probably people that are listening don't really know. We don't, they don't even know what we're talking about. Right. Right. But, uh, I feel like the messages, Mm. you know, find people, you know, people around you, like someone that's close to you, a friend really like cherish them. You know, if it's Mm. a real person that like, maybe don't go for like all the, I feel like it's so easy to be like, you know, you got to be friends with everyone. You got to be nice to everyone and care about everyone's thing. Cause that's, you know what I mean? You don't want to be looked at. But maybe if you, you know, give a bit more love to someone that's showing you that love, like you can get a much deeper connection. I feel like that's way more important mm-hmm. than just some acquaintances mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. you're going to just, you know, they're not going to show up to your wedding. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or something like that. Something yeah. important. Yeah. Or even show up to, to help you out. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And we're not built, we're not built to be that way with everyone. Like yeah. we have, you know, we have like a certain amount of people we can like, fully give ourselves to and Mm -hmm. trust in that kind of way and like naturally that's just how things work i think like that or or since like evolutionary we come from we come from tribes like you can only remember like a certain set amount of people yes like like your brain can Mm -hmm. only retain like i forget how many people but like it's very it's like less followers than you have on instagram like yeah that's the only you know you couldn't remember everyone on your instagram list you know what i mean it's impossible your brain won't catch it and i think it's even less of an amount of like real close connections you make with people and it happens i was thinking about this man i was thinking about people because you know we're, we're left at wedding you know and i'm like man like it's beautiful in this beautiful moment and i got to share this moment and it's this one moment in time that you know and eventually like this it's over the night's over and you go into the next moment and you know grace and Evan are beautiful people and like i'm glad to be their friend at this point in my life and you know i consider them really cool like a cool friendship to have and, and mm-hmm. really good people to know and you know be around 
Um, and then to know their family now, like that was beautiful. That was such a reward for me yeah. to, to be able to, you know, get that um, exchange. And then I was like, you know, like we, we, we become close to certain people at certain times in our journey. And then, you know, time passes and we, we drift, you know, people move or, or, you know, get a new job, new relationship, you know, different, different things here and there. And, and I was thinking like, I guess that's the way it's meant to be. It's not mm. meant to be everyone always forever. It's meant to be like, you have a few of those, mm. if you're lucky, for your life, hopefully. But, I don't know, maybe it's, the few the few that you get are like the gift, and then the people that you have at certain points in your life are there for a reason. And they change you, and they mold you, and they put you in different directions, and mm. sometimes for the bad, and sometimes for the good. And they direct where you go. They they kind of have like, they kind of knock you into your future, and you learn something from them, and then you move on. Mm. And I was just thinking of that. Like we can't we can't retain everyone. We yes. can in memory. We can retain how they made us feel. Mm-hmm. We can retain what they meant to us and what we learned from them. Not saying this about Grace Center. That, yeah, that's the last thing I'm I'm trying to even think about. But just people. You know, we we they shape us. They leave fingerprints on us. Mm-hmm. We change from knowing them. Our lives are enriched by these exchanges, and then these exchanges end, and then we we go in different places, and we're changed forever because of each other. And it's I guess it's like we can't spend the same time. But we're still together because we're forever changed by each other. If that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Yeah. Weird. And it, it brought like a feeling of like, dang, that hurts. But also, I guess that's beautiful because then that's, as long as I'm alive, I'm changed. I'm forever connected to these people. Yeah. They mean something to me. You know? Yeah. It feels weird to... To think back on like, you know, the past relationships you had that you're just like, we're so close, right? Mm-hmm. People you see every day, mm-hmm. you know? Yep. And like five years later, you, you know, if you think about it, it's, it seems like it's not that much of a long time. Mm-hmm. And even like, it could be not even like a slow, you know, like separation, yeah. you know, it could just be like one day, you just... You don't. Yeah. You know, and then it becomes two days and three days. Yeah. And you yeah. kind of just forget. And then that's it. Yep. Yeah. I guess that's life, man. That's just, I don't know. I feel like the, the, the right thing to do, though, is just appreciate, you know, everything that comes, right? Because it's got to leave some sort of mark. For sure. Yeah, absolutely, man. Like we were talking that painting. Maybe that color changed a little. Yeah, bit. yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. That's exactly how you put it before. Right? Like these two people come together with their paints and then they make a different color. Yeah. And that changes the picture for sure. I'll be honest, dude. Like this is going to be like, I, I didn't mean to bring it down. Yeah. I'm not trying to bring it down. I just, your boy, I was looking at like last week's feed came up and a thing came up when you posted it. And I remember I was like laughing or some shit. And I was like, dude. Like the, it's amazing from a week how different I feel. Mm. Even even going to the wedding, like that was a beautiful reprieve of like what my brain was sending me and my emotions yeah. and stuff. But I feel so off. Like <laughs> totally. Me like too, like gratitude wise, I just don't feel as grateful as I usually feel. I don't mm. feel, uh, you know, happy to be me, proud of myself. Uh, empathetic like it's it's a bit lower than usual and i was like struggling i went to therapy i i um exercised Mm. i did all the things i know i have to do for me to be mentally healthy and like spiritually healthy i prayed every day but it just doesn't yeah but i felt like i wasn't at the end at the end like 
after you do every single thing, yeah. it's still just, yeah. you don't know. Yeah, I couldn't, I can't. I feel that exact same feeling for some reason. Do you? Yeah, like today, like I don't know why I was like, I just can't. Yeah. I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> I feel like a general sense of tired. Yeah. And yes, like, yes. And like a bit of. A, I really don't know what that is. A bit of sadness. And I'm like, why? Wait. And is that depression or is that like. May 17th. Yeah. Tuesday. Tuesday. Let us know how you feel. <laughs> Yo, is everyone up. feeling this? Because I swear, I feel like everyone is feeling Maybe this. there's some in retro. People I've talked to. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't want to lie. I don't want to lie to people listening. So I'm trying to. I'm, and I want to be I'm literally with you. feeling the same way. I'm glad you're saying Exactly. That. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, I woke up. Like, like, and you I don't, I don't get it. I really don't get it because, I mean, I get I've been having, you know, it's been a long weekend <laughs> for me. A, a it's been like a five day weekend yeah, since yeah. last week. <laughs> yeah. uh, and I've been going pretty hard every day. But yeah. like yesterday, I was just out of it, like completely. And I was still doing stuff like, you know, we went out for after the wedding stuff yeah. and everything. Yeah, yeah. And the whole day I was like, dude, I just have this like looming, just feeling of like, I don't know. I, I gotta like reset or something yeah you know totally and i don't know what to do i tried everything i feel you yeah it's, all the way till today I it's scary when you're doing things that are good for you yeah. and you're like this should help yeah and it's not yeah that is really scary and and i know i think i think one thing that kind of and this is just another tool but like you need to move a muscle to change a thought and that's why mm-hmm. i thought working out would be the thing or you know maybe i'm doing too many of the same things and i have to try something different so i'm like you know, I have to journal every day now, even mm. if I don't want to. I'm like, I have to do it because that's that's me taking an inventory of like, don't know what this feeling is, felt this, mm. you know, feel like whatever. And then the next day I revisit. And I think if I keep a log, maybe it'll be easier for me to like get to know myself again because I feel like I'm a bit scattered or a bit lost for some yeah. reason can't quite figure out why i'm feeling certain emotions and that's super scary i don't want to not know me and you know we're human mm-hmm. sometimes we go through lulls and i i have empathy for myself there um there's a lot i could say about that i i, I uh in therapy this was cool so i was explaining how i was feeling and i felt like i was kind of being judged and I was judging myself and I wasn't like letting myself off the hook. I was like just beating myself up every day as soon as I woke up. Just just tearing myself up, comparing myself to other people. And just, you know, I should be here. I should, this is where I should, why am I not as connected to God as I should be? Or why am I not doing the right things all the time? Why am I in this position? All these negative thoughts constantly and then... You know, my my therapist asked me, uh, who would you want to, you know, who, oh, I said, you know what I want is for someone to tell me you're okay. I would want someone to, like, that's what I want. I want someone to tell me that I'm okay. And she said, because I'm in pain. Mm. Like, I'm like, dude, I'm in pain. And it came out of nowhere. I just didn't know I was in pain. I was laughing last week with you. Yeah. I was in pain then. I didn't know it. It just went, I just buried it without thinking about it and came on here and we had an honest conversation, but, you know, I like packaged up my pain and put it in the corner and I was like, my body's like, we'll deal with that another time. She asked me, you know, who would you want to, yeah, so my therapist asked me, who would you, who would you want to tell you that you're okay and make you feel better? And I said, oh, I think it already happened. She was like, what do you mean? And I wasn't thinking about it, but I had to call my grandmother a couple days before, Mm. my grandmother Betty. And she was telling me, you know, we were just catching up. She sent Lena a card and we were just discussing it. And I was like, you know, thank you so much. And and then at the end of the conversation, she said, uh, um, you know, I just want to tell you, like, you're doing well. And I know all the stuff you're going through you should you don't deserve it and it was like i i broke down in therapy when i thought about it again because in, in the call i did in the call i was like i heard that and i said oh thank you grandma i love you and then in therapy i broke down and i was surprised it shocked me shocked me because you know if i'm 
If that's how I feel, really, if it means that much to me, why didn't I cry on the phone with my grandma? Why did it, why did it hit me later in therapy when I thought about it? And the, the thing I came up with with my therapist was, oh, that's the person that held you when you were little, that you felt safe with, that kind of brings you back to childhood, you know, mm. in this safer, a bit place where she fed you and she clothed you and she sent you to school and she picked you up. She took care of you when you were sick and all these things. She was like the rock of mm. my childhood. And so when she said that, that's the voice, I guess, that meant the most to me to hear her say, you have every right to feel the way you feel and this pain and you don't deserve it. Mm. And I was like, wow. It felt like being held again, like yeah. a little kid. And I needed that. You know, as a 31-year-old man, you know, I wanted to be held like a kid. I wanted to be held and told, you know, you're you're good and you don't deserve this. Mm -hmm. And it was like uh, permission to feel the way I felt, which is cool. And, and, it, and it, it came out because yeah. I, I lock it in. And, I don't re and I'm trying to be as transparent yeah, as possible man, about what I practice. Yeah. And still, Mike, yeah. all these like barriers I've created for 31 years, they just don't allow the emotion to come out exactly when I feel it before it gets stored up. I do this thing where like if I don't say it quick enough, if I don't get it out quick enough, if my body starts to hold it down and I'm not catching on to it, I'm not thinking about it or aware of it, then I stuff it because I don't want to cry in front of my wife and, and and my friends and i don't want to do that i don't want to and i don't, why is that why don't i want to mm -hmm. my ego i don't want to be looked at as weak which yeah. someone told me crying is weak when i was young and i my child brain said got it got it we'll yeah. never let that happen then we'll protect you and i'm trying to tell my brain now my child like mine there's no reason to protect me no more yeah that just shows how how ingrained that is yeah that fear or because like i feel like that's something we've been fighting for so long right? like how many times have we talked about that bro it's you know like ending. it's okay it's yeah. okay it's okay it's okay it's good it's yeah man it's it's scary yeah yeah like it's that's that must be so like i now i'm just scared to have like a kid yeah <laughs> you know like yeah. Well, at least we know a lot better, you know what I mean? I'm more but aware about it. Still, like, to be able to pass something like that on, uh -huh. you know? Yeah. And, uh, and you know, our parents all have their own, you know, things that were passed down to them. Yeah. But uh, it's just, I don't know, man. I guess that's the game of life where, you know, it's beautiful. Yeah. But you still got to live through, you know, pain yeah. and hardship. And that's all still part of it. Yeah. Yeah. Totally, Mike. I'm glad you got to see, you know, or figure out at least that it was, you know, who it was. Yeah. You know, that makes me think about, um, not to like cut you off. No, thank you. you know, but yeah. that, that makes me think of like, I feel like I've been holding in a lot too. I think, I think with my, like growing up, I was, me and my brother were raised by my great grandma. Mm. Right. And I'd even, I never like explored that relationship deeply, I think. I feel like I never like thought about what that really meant to me. Uh -huh. uh, how like the little things that like I'm thinking of now, like like being able to when I went like if I saw something when I, if, I, if I got something cool or something, yeah. right? Yeah, you know what I mean. I got like a I don't know like a picture. I took a picture. I go home, right? Yeah. And I'm like, oh, this is so cool. And I, like I can go show my grandma. Yeah, and she's like, oh my god, like she's she never was disinterested in anything i ever did wow right yeah anything i brought to her she's like fully invested invested in me right and i saw it in her eyes i saw it in her face and whatever she did to me whatever she said to me like it was just purely you know she like lived for you know the people around her uh -huh. right and i feel like i gotta start thinking about maybe what that relationship is wow because i'm already starting to feel like a little bit like yeah I don't know, something in my heart. Dang. Yeah, like when she left. Yeah. Now that I'm like I'm like I'm I feel like once she left, I I'm missing like mm. something. Mm. Like like a 
something my mind maybe like it made me feel okay that i was able to share something yeah you know with her yeah you know and that i don't know i don't know what what would that help me with you know yeah because now that i'm thinking about it, it's like i don't i don't really do that to anyone else anymore yeah you know yeah i don't know it's really interesting yeah dude. i think that's worth i want to think about that more i think it's I totally that worth that she's worth that yeah 100 percent. that's like your home that's like a that was such a safe yeah. place where you could bring anything to her feel anything you wanted say anything you wanted yeah and i don't know if you relate it's like this feeling of being held yeah yeah protected 100%. like i could be me yeah no question because i know she loves me for some reason she loves me so much like yeah. i feel it i know it i don't even have to think about it and that's uh i think maybe when she and i don't know but like when she transitioned into like the next place maybe you didn't know how to you didn't know where to go yeah with what you feel you know you you couldn't quite run to a like that solid foundational relationship yeah. yeah that you had and so what do you do you don't you don't do it anymore no it's just gone it's not gone it's just it's just you stuck it somewhere yeah and you created a new system because mm-hmm. you couldn't go to it. wow maybe i, I don't know no it, that makes a lot of sense i think because <laughs> like I if you was it. here what would you what would you tell her <sighs> everything like i don't know everything do you remember what she looked like oh yeah totally yeah yeah 100 percent. yeah she raised me until like my like uh early 20s uh-huh maybe like 20. wow wow my brother's gonna definitely call me out for what year but um yeah i might have to i think i gotta deep dive deeper yeah. into that because i haven't i think my brother did a lot more um but yeah, that's my homework. That's dope. That'll be my that's work. good homework. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say take that serious. That's that's really good homework, dude. Mm-hmm. That's 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 awesome to do that. Um, you deserve that. She deserves that. You know, that's yeah. that's awesome. She's a foundational. She made you who you are. So and and left a really, you know, big space when she left. Mm-hmm. I think so. I think that's totally worth investigating what mm. what that means to you like what she meant to you and what she means to you today and what's left now that she's moved on to another place in your yeah. life uh you know i thought of that yeah. why, why i thought it were too it's so weird today because i told you about the the bed stuff right yeah well yeah. i'll leave it i bring that up it's <laughs> stupid the bed stuff but um that now sounds, now sounds, it's now it sounds weird that's how patreon now that sounds weird you gotta you gotta get the patreon but the bed right? stuff the bed yeah. stuff um but I, underneath my bed i kept stuff right yeah and one of the things i i don't know why i still have this but it's literally like the box that she's had like wow. her whole life and it's just like her sewing kit wow and it's all just like like you know sewing stuff yarn like string like like why do i keep this <laughs> you know like yeah. it's literally stuff i would never touch or never use but i looked at it and i was like it's just like just hidden underneath my bed i'm like i don't know why i have this you know yeah. and i started thinking about that i think that's why why do you keep brought it? it up today what I, do, why do you think right now you keep it I don't, when you when you saw it i feel like i just want to keep something of her mm. right i feel like i don't have a lot maybe of things of hers yeah you know yeah and that's one thing that i i think i specifically remember is like when like i, I lost a button on my shirt i would go into her room and be like grandma can you please help me <laughs> you know and i'd sit in her room she'd take out that box and sometimes she'd have a little snack in there give uh, me a snack uh-huh. and then i'd sit there and she'd do it and i have it you know yeah and i kiss my grandma and then you know i go yeah you know i think that's why yeah Wow. And I feel like I'm going to keep it forever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's an heirloom. Yeah. There's a piece of her left behind. That yeah. means something to you. Yeah. Yeah, man. And that same, like, there's like a tape measure that she used to, like, measure us with. Yeah. Like, Isn't that amazing? Just an object can hold so much meaning to you. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody said, 
this is a funny interlude, and I don't mean to cut you off. No, yeah. Somebody said on TikTok, I posted about last last week's video. And we're getting a gem from TikTok. Well, we were talking about we were talking about meaning, and we were talking about these these objects that hold meaning. And mm-hmm. I pointed out your kombucha last week. So yeah, the kombucha holds meaning. Someone on TikTok made this funny comment that said, "What can kombucha possibly like mean? <laughs> you know, what does the kombucha mean?" Yeah. And I said something, you know, silly back, like, you, you know, you look at it, you tell me what it means. And I was just trying to say, like, because to me it means something. Yeah. What if does I, it mean? If I take my time with it, because. Let's explore it. Well, to me, last week, it was your kombucha. So I connect the kombucha to you, and that's quenching your thirst and nourishing you. And that makes me feel good, because I want my buddy to feel nourished and quenched. And it's an object you held which holds meaning to me then. And like, I could go deeper mm. if you let me. Like, and it doesn't just end there if I stick with it and I, you know, stay with it. So it was, it was, it was a funny comment I sent back, but I was thinking about it. I said, no, it definitely means something to me, yeah. the kombucha, because it's Mikey's kombucha yeah. from last week. And uh, I, I, so this happened, and it's funny you were talking about this, the box uh-huh. with your grandma's, you know, uh, sewing stuff in it because um i think i told you this already but i was uh at my mother's day belated dinner she was sick on mother's day so i got to see her oh. two weeks from then and i was feeling the way i felt right and just yeah. not not comfortable with myself kind of down and a little bit depressed trying to figure out you know what it was but missing the mark feeling attacked by people not trusting people not trusting myself and I walk into the to this restaurant, and uh, I'm going to see my grandmother and grandfather. So my grandmother Betty, the one I just talked mm-hmm. about, and my you know her husband Joe, who was mm-hmm. my middle name. That's who I was named after, Joseph. Oh, really? Yeah. And I uh, I walk in, and Grandpa Joe, he's like, "Dave, I got to talk to you." And he seemed very serious. And I was like, "You know, he's never serious like that." So I'm like, "Whoa, this is weird." I didn't even get to say hi to everybody yet. He's pulling me aside. Pulls me aside and he has a sandwich bag, like a plastic one. Mm. Inside the sandwich bag, he opens it up and it's a napkin curled up. I'm like, what the hell's going on? And he's saying, I wanted to give this to you. You have to take care of this. Mm. And it was two rings. And the like, these two rings, the first one was his high school ring mm. that I've seen him wear my whole life. He's always wearing it. And I'm like, whoa, he, you know, he's the first class of Elmwood Park with my grandmother. Like they were the first class of the high school. They like, you know, were part of the group that like picked the Crusader logo and wow. the mascot and uh, the, the song they made together. And like they, they did all this cool stuff. Yeah. So they, they're like this heritage of Elmwood Park. And um, he's giving me that ring and he's crying. Like he's tearing up and he's holding back tears. And I'm like, he's so like taken aback. I'm like, dude, what the hell's going on? Like, are you sick? Is something going... Like, I don't know. Because I didn't know this was... And I wish I had like a warning or something because I didn't know a serious thing was coming like this. So it's the high school ring. And then the second ring he's explaining to me is his father's ring, my great-grandfather, who I loved growing up, you know, Anthony. And uh, Anthony D'Augustino. He, you know, came from Italy when he was a teenager, you know, started my family here. He was in World War II. He uh, he was in the Navy, and he uh, while he was in the Navy, my grandfather's telling me, overseas during World War II, he pulled a bolt out of the ship, like it was, I guess it was a loose bolt or something, and uh, he crafted this ring with it by hand. And I'm, he's like, as he's putting it in my hand, I'm like, what the hell is going on? Because I remember him wearing this ring. I remember my great grandfather on pasta Sundays, the Sundays we would come over, be wearing this ring, and now it's in my hands. Yeah. At 31 years old, I'm like holding my great grandfather's ring and my grandfather's ring now. And, you know, I was, I got like immediately emotional. And I was trying to suppress because there's, you mm-hmm. know, 12 people at, di- 14 people at dinner. And I'm, I'm like, I don't want to start crying, but it just came in waves. Like, the meaning of what that is, you know, as he's crying. And again, he never cries. And I'm like, he's, 
he's passing this down to me, these two objects, because they mean so much to him, and he wants to conti- them to continue on in our family. And since I'm young enough and, and old enough at the same time to take care of them, he's going to leave them with me. So it's like a changing of the guard because he's still alive. He's not sick. Mm. And I'm like, why? You know, I couldn't, I couldn't, and I still don't have a total answer. Why do it now? You know, why, why? Because my immediate reaction is like, keep that. Why are you giving this to me? Like, wear this. Yeah. You know, you, it, you're here, like with me right now. You don't have to pass them to me. Like, protect them while you're here, and I'll protect them when you're, like, I promise. Mm-hmm. But it meant something to him, I guess, to like look me in the eye and say, like, I'm giving yeah. you these. And it made me sad because I'm like, you know, your life's not over yet. Yeah. So why why do that? I, you know, I have such an instinct to be like, just, t- but I, I don't want to be disrespectful. So I'm like, of course, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll take care of these ops. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and then I was wearing the rings and I'm like, mm. but that's going to be me one day too. Yeah. And you might feel that same way he feels. Oh. You know? Yeah. It made me sad. Man. I can imagine like, oh, the thoughts, the thoughts that he, like he could be having, you know? Yeah to definitely would I could see how it would mean like a lot to be able to give that to you face to face yeah you know yeah not after he's gone you know to be able to put it in your hand not them taking it off his fingers you know and then giving it to you you know for him to entrust it to you yeah I I feel like there's some worth in that you know that that probably fuels him some way yeah you know that we don't know yet you know? Yeah. Man. All from the little rings, huh? <laughs> yeah. Isn't that crazy? How much how much there is in so little. My man, come on. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, man. I'm glad. Dude, one day, one day, Mikey's gonna cry, dude. Nah, Just you, wait for the day, guys. I'm you don't have you. to cry, bro. No, bro but get... also, like, fucking cry if you want, man. I, dude, look it. I know. I'm not fucking kidding. I, I'm telling you, that's that's because I'm realizing that meant so much because it's like it's like you know it's a bit of a a winding down of his life, and he's making sure things go to certain places. And, yeah, you know, it just sucks. I don't want to yeah. lose my grandpa. I love my yeah, grandpa. Yeah. So. Yeah, I have that fear that my parents are just because I already have a half, a half know already that they're just gonna leave it in like a box in like the bank and be like, all right, take it, <laughs> like when they're gone. I almost want to do that, like selfishly, like I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking when I'm when I'm older, like I don't want to like, even like, think about me going away and like you know start freaking out about it. I want to just kind of go one day and, and everything, of course, is uh, up to the people I love. So it's so brave that he was like able to. Yeah, you know, man, I think that says a lot. Like, I want to make sure you remember this, and I'll remember this, and this will always that, be meaningful. That definitely says a lot, man. Yeah. A lot. Dude, what a week, man. Whoa. <laughs> what a week, dude. Crazy. Crazy. Whoosh. <laughs> We're getting through it, though. Come oh on. Oh, my God. Come on, brother. Dude, it's I'm, only Tuesday. I'm trying, man. It's only Tuesday. I feel better, though. You know, I, I do feel better just, right? just sitting down talking. I feel a lot better. You know, I'm glad we could cry in front of each other and it's not fucking weird yeah the more i do it the more i realize like yeah it's like you're still here you didn't run you didn't run imagine i'm like dude no exactly we gotta go but that's what i think in the back of my mind is like these this fear of like my wife my wife's gonna leave me and then my friends are gonna leave me (laughs) and then my job's gonna fire me and like i'm never gonna be special yeah and it's like dude just cry and i promise you you'll see on the other side Mm -hmm. everyone's still there god still loves you it's okay, man. I feel better having let it out than not. Um, I promise if you cry, I'm not going anywhere, bro. Yeah. You know, I got your back. You know, we got we to gotta be able to do that with each other and just, and just, and no pressure. Just like, you know, that's what friendship is. Friendship, that's what, that's what real, real friendship and family is and should be. Like, I should be able to tell you anything. Yeah. And not create a, an uncomfortable you don't understand because mm-hmm. i love you for who you are 
and yeah. emotions change and like you'll feel sad or angry if you were pissed at me and you were like hey fuck you yeah i'd be like duck i'd first of all, i'd be hurt and then i'd be like let's talk about it what's going on man like i would never be like swinging at you yeah or if you were crying i would never be like dude handle that <laughs> you know i'd be right there with you that's family I, and i feel that way for certain people and and you know we all need that mm. we all need somebody who's like it's okay the, the just the phrase it's okay yeah seems so little two words mm. but from the right person it's like the most beautiful thing and the most uplifting thing and the most loving thing you can receive your mother used to say it to you all the time yeah and your father you know your grandma i'm sure it's okay mike it's okay you mm-hmm. could, you know whatever whatever it is it's okay because it is yeah guess what it is mm-hmm. you know those two words hold so much meaning dude and i was thinking about those two words a lot you know thinking of my grandma and grandpa yeah they would say it all the time and i'd be fucking emotionally <laughs> And just two little, a hug and two little words. It's okay. From the right person. You know, can't do this alone, dude. Now that I think about it, I feel like, I think the last time I like cried and tried to cry in front of someone, I kind of was like not, I didn't really get anything, Mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So I feel like maybe that's why. Yeah. Well, you did. Did you, you know? have, did you feel like you had permission? Because you're saying I tried to. Yeah. And instead of like I felt something and as it was coming. Yeah. Like I pushed for it, and it's like, like crying. I'm realizing like you can't push it. Yes. It's when it's coming, you gotta allow it to come out. Yeah. Yeah. You open the door. Yeah. But you don't push it out. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Cause then you're thinking about it, and then you're like, "Oh fuck, I'm about to cry, I'm about to cry, I'm about to cry." Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. Yeah. And then it changes it. No, I think it just happened, and then it, as know, it was coming, like, yeah, then it was kind of like, well, <laughs> you didn't. There's no support there. So. <laughs> exactly. So you didn't feel like <laughs> so you're like, well, <laughs> you didn't have permission to do it. You yeah. didn't feel like it's okay. There was yeah, no, it's yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to feel safe before you do it. I guess, yeah. especially if you hadn't done it in a long time. Yeah. When's the last time you cried? Um. It was like last time I broke up. Wow. Yeah. That's years. Yeah. Whoa. Well, it's been like like a deep cry, you know, yeah. like a yeah. one that just it flows out like crazy. Yeah. Right. I've had like cries in between that are like, I don't know why. Whenever I wake up and I listen to like, um, like I cried to like the Mac Miller album. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like when that came out, yeah. stuff like that. Right. Uh, I'll cry from a song like in the morning, you know, on the way to work. It'll just randomly come out, you know. That's but like, like your valve. You're yeah, it up but like in front of a, another person, yeah. like letting out. Yeah. Oh, uh, that was probably the last time. Wow. Yeah. That seems not healthy, huh? I don't know. <laughs> it, might, it seems a little not healthy. I would like for you to cry. Yeah, you yeah. Know, in front of me and other people. Yeah, yeah. But there's no pressure because I know the second you start thinking like, I got to cry in front of Dave one day. It's like... A, you're never gonna fucking do that. Yeah, because you're thinking about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I've, I've, like at the wedding and stuff, I felt like yeah. literally, like I was like, I was pushing it you're back. Pushing it you back. Know? Yeah, for sure. You're in the presence of love. You're yeah, in the presence of real true you know? love. Yeah. I don't know, man. We'll see. We'll see what the future holds. You never know. No problem. You never know. I'm, I'm so great, like glad that you have the valve in the morning with the music. Yes. That's like your emotional release valve. Yeah. yeah. Even, you know, I think that's super healthy. Mm-hmm. You know, just like, I'm not, I haven't cried in 10 years. Yep. You cry. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, that's right. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> that comes with growth as you get older. Definitely. Totally. Definitely. Yeah, bro. Another thing I want to bring up today on the podcast was, um, I feel like this is something I've experienced with people or just something i've I've observed i don't want to like say anyone Uh, you know uh or any any people allude to anyone but just the the idea of like people worrying Mm. about what others like someone that 
you know, is like someone could say like they're close, like they're a friend to you, right? Yeah. They're close, like they're family yeah. or whatever. Um, like they'll be like, they're coming to, to you to, to hang out or mm. to, to do something with you. Mm. And that person, um, is self-conscious about how they're being viewed. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. It just feels weird to me, man. It's, I, I just feel like sad when it happens in front of me, you mm. know, when, when someone I know yeah, and they're like feeling self-conscious about it and they're, and they're like, they're, they're doing things. They're, they're putting on this thing that they never wear or they're um, getting dressed up for, you know, they're putting extra makeup or they're, they're, you know what I mean? They're, they're cleaning up the, their apartment or yeah. their house to, to seem like they're not, perfect. It's like they're not you know? who they are. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. I'm like, I don't know, man. I just noticed it today and I was like, it's just weird, man. I feel like, I feel like even if it, that person, it's, it's going to be okay no matter what. Yeah. You know, especially if you consider them, you know, close totally. or a friend or you totally. love them, family. I feel like it's okay, man. Just, just let it go, right? Yeah. I feel like I kind of got that ingrained in me too, maybe. Uh-huh. Um, like sometimes before you come, I like, oh, I got to clean up, you yeah. know, I got to clean up the for bathroom. What? I gotta, for what? Yeah. You know, and I'm telling myself, no, I'm just spring cleaning. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah but, I've been, but I'm like, I've been <laughs> here for I, fucking yeah, you five know? years, six years. But, uh, I don't know, man. I feel like sometimes we got to let it go, you know, especially if it's people that we think are, fr- we, that we say are friends. Yeah. You know what I mean? The people that we care for. Yeah. Or we think they care about us. Yeah. You know, I totally. feel like it's more care to even just let it open. Right. Yeah. Like have them. Open up and let them in, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I think it's, that that's that you're speaking on like insecurity. You're yeah. speaking on. Or like money or yeah, something, yeah, you know? Make yeah. it seem like. Oh, bro. Like you got money. I tell you, you know, I'm glad I could tell you honestly, like your boy's broke. Dude, I'm right there with you. Yeah, but like it feels good to be like, I'm not. This is what, you know. We're the, telling you too. I'm telling you too. Your boy's For, broke. Forget there's a camera here, dude. <laughs> and throw us a like or subscribe <laughs> if you want or, or a Patreon. That would yeah, be nice. Um, it up. We love you all for real. You don't have to do fire it up. You don't have to do any of that, but fire it up. Uh, but I was thinking about this at work, uh, you know, because a lot of my shit's stemming from work too. Mm-hmm. And this feeling of like, oh, I shouldn't be here. I should be somewhere else, right? Whatever, internally. But I keep praying, for, you know, saying like, I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be today. And God keeps reminding me, I put you here for a reason. Today is the day I want you to be here and I'm going to provide for you as you do a service for me and for other people. I said, got it. That's, I'm going to trust you. I don't need to push for more. I don't need to push, you know, I don't need to beat myself up. That's what I'm going to do. So that's the practice I do. But sometimes, like this week, I get a little wayward. Mm. I get a little lost. And I start beating myself up. Mm. And, you know, I'm meeting people that work there now. And I'm meeting other customers and having these conversations. And uh, I used to, before the pandemic, say... Oh, hey, I'm Dave. And then the second thing would be like, oh, well, what do you do? I say, oh, I'm an actor. Right? I'm an actor. I make films. That's what I do. And I'm like, well, I don't say that anymore when people ask me what I do. Mm. I don't, I don't, I don't lead with that. And to me, what I'm finding is I used to do that because I wanted people to look at me at my job, which was at working at a cafe, which it is now, my day job. Well, he's not here. This isn't his future. This isn't yeah. his identity. This is just a place he collects money and then uh-huh. bounces to his dream. Yeah, that's the thing he. It, I want. It, I want people to see me as that. Yeah, yeah. Because then it's a bit elevated. I'm not just a uh, just a a guy making sandwiches at a cafe. Mm-hmm. And then now I'm looking at those conversations I'm having, and I'm not saying it because. I'm more comfortable with who I am. I know I'm loved. And if I am the guy serving sandwiches at a cafe, then that's that's not my identity, but that's what I do. Mm -hmm. That's my job. Yeah. And I'm like much prouder to say that. I feel more of a fraud if I say, well, I'm an actor, I'm an artist, I'm a a filmmaker, I'm a writer, all this stuff. Mm -hmm. Like when I do that, if I do that, if I get the chance to ever do that again, and you see something and you come to me and want to talk about it, always I'm willing to talk about it. If you want to just talk about it now, if you've seen something I've done, 
hundred percent down. Yeah. I'm not actively doing it. Like mm. I, I, I wrote something recently, but like I didn't do that today. Mm -hmm. Today I'm Dave and I'm at this cafe. I'm working here. You want to hear about my history and like where I've been? I'll tell you. Mm. But I'm not going to lead with this to make myself look yeah. to you a certain yeah. way. To elevate myself in the eyes of you. I mm. want to meet you here. Yes. I want to be honest. I don't want to like brag or boast or, you know, mm -hmm. make myself grand. Yeah. I'm grand. You're grand. We're all grand. You know, we're all, we're all beautiful in our little, you know, our, our lives. We don't need to, we don't need to do the hair and makeup and the cleanup before I come yeah. here and all this yeah. stuff. You know, yeah. it's, it's nice. It's kind, but like, we don't need the smoke and mirrors. Like, at least this is how I feel now. Mm-hmm. You know, before it's the first thing I'd say. Yep. Now, I'd rather talk about what's going on right now than try to. Because if it was just me saying like I'm an actor and I didn't have an intention, I was just saying, "Yes, yeah, what I love to do, I love it." Mm. That's different. But me doing it back in the day, I've noticed was because I loved it, but it came with a caveat of like, and I elevate myself in the eyes of others because mm. not everyone does it. Yeah. People are more interested in you. You know, you're curious, mysterious, like, oh, I want to know more about that. Yeah. I don't need to explain it to nobody. I don't need I don't need that kind of attention. Yeah. You know? If someone likes me, they'll like me for because I make them a sandwich. Yeah. Exactly. You know. Or my eyes look different. Or <laughs> whatever, you know, like Yeah. There's they feel a genuine something and they want to know more. Yeah, yeah. That's that's a real connection. Not me for pushing in a, a story on you. Mm -hmm. Um at least that's where I'm at. Maybe I'm totally wrong. Yeah. I'm noticing I'm wrong a lot, but <laughs> that's how I feel like now. I feel that, man. Yeah. Dang. Well. I showed someone your performance today and they were like, holy oh. shit, I did not know. Really? Who? Uh, should I say it? Sure. Should I Is it bad? Oh, well, I totally heard that in the headphones. But... You couldn't hear that. Yeah. You heard it. That's what you heard. Dang. Well, your boy performed, all right? And he absolutely shut it down. And I'm bragging. Dude. But he did. Dude, Stylo made... Should I pull it up? Stylo made a uh, appearance at the wedding. You know my boy. Me and me and Stylo have been making music for a while, all right? Davey was the cinematographer We've on that. We've been doing stuff. I had to have Dave get on that. But, bro, <laughs> it felt... How did it feel? Amazing. Dude. It was so sick. You lit it up. We I both was so, lit it up, dude. You were like, you, it's like you spread your wings and flew that night. Yeah. I was like, holy shit. You were like a butterfly in a chrysalis that yeah. like turned to a caterpillar yeah. that like fucking hibernated and then like grew wings and fucking flew that night. Yeah. You know what's really cool your too? Your breath, you kept your breath. You were dancing the whole time. You felt your rhythm was perfect, mm. you know, cadence, all that. You know, you know what I'm really thankful? What? For style. Oh, fuck. Because you know yeah. what? Because after that, after we did everything, and then at the end of the, the night where we were, like, cleaning up, the yeah. uh, the music guy came up. Yeah. And, uh, dude, and I was getting comments from, like, the the waiters. The waiter, the waiter came up to me, like, three of them. Uh, it's, like, separate times. And this one guy was like, yo, did you, like, you guys, like, rehearse this and stuff? Or, like, just a couple times, like, two times. Yeah. And they're like, dude, this is, like, legit. Yeah. Like, and even the music people were like, this is, like, we could tell it's, like, actually. Yes. Like, these Serious. are artists. Yes. And man. stuff. They were like. They were really surprised. They were like, yeah. it's really like legit. And then I was like, whoa, that's so sick, right? Yeah. That's so cool. And it's made me think of like when I when I would go to like film festivals and stuff. Yeah. When I go to like, you know, things where we're all, you know, like, woo, here we yeah, go. Yeah. It's like, it's always like um, this feeling of like, wow, you can do that, huh? Yeah. Like, yeah. look at that. Yeah. But it's like, and then I looked at Style and he's like, and I, I was looking at him and like, he didn't really react like oh yeah like hell yeah you know he's like i know it you know and i was like okay there's a difference there i get it dude. do you see i said i get it now. yeah yeah and now i'm like you know what i know yeah i know it. i know we shut Mike. it i know we shut it down dude that's the and, fucking and we difference. knew we were gonna shut it down dude right that's the difference it's it's crazy there's a certain point where you you train at the thing you're, you want to do yeah yeah. And you cross that line of confidence. Yes. And it's not, I don't need it from nobody. Mm -hmm. I know. I believe in myself already. I know what I'm capable of. Yeah. I've done it before. I know what I could do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and it becomes uh, no longer a uh, like yeah. I was saying. Like I don't have to. B- yeah, you don't have to put it like this anything. is me. This is me. This no, is me, man. You don't gotta do shit. No, man. you just gotta do it, and then everyone's gonna come and be like, "What the heck was that?" But I love that you I said that about Stylo because you're right. Yes, dude. Because he, he's he, always like, yeah, he knows I mean, it. In, it's yeah. in him. He yeah. knows. Yeah, he's confident, and the reason he's putting stuff out is because he, how he yeah. feels. Just know we're getting. Uh, you too now. Just know we're getting just the future. Just say, I'm just saying, you know, nothing's came out yet from from the boys. We got big things coming, but just know there's people asking, yeah, asking for shit. Yeah. All right, <laughs> people are asking for stuff already, and it's not even out. So <laughs> yeah. that's the You Are Here podcast. Hey, that's the You Are Here podcast. Y'all fucked up. You slept on the boys. And I mean, now you I mean, up. they're they're gonna know. I'm just kidding. They're gonna know. They're gonna know. The world's gonna know, man. We love you. We love you so much. Thank you so much for listening. Dude, we didn't even say the episode number. And you know what? We don't have to. Oh, it's over. I don't even care. 173. I, I think that's it, don't actually. Don't quote me, but I think, I think it that's is. it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we love you guys. Thank you so much. We'll be back next week. Another one. Another one. Um, yeah, man. I want to try to explore more about the you know, my great grandma stuff. Totally. See what I find. I love that. Because um, I, I know I got to clean that stuff up over there. I say you so, write yes journal and then like maybe even write a song about her dude i want to kind of go to i might go to her grave and do that wow because i haven't been in a while this year you know so where, I wanna go. Where, where is it what's that it's in um arlington north arlington okay gotcha i know exactly where it is um but yeah that's my homework i love that uh we love you guys thank you so much shout out to the patrons patreon.com slash you are here podcast you already know my name is mike and I'm signing out. My name's Dave. I love y'all. Please be kind to one another. Boom. <laughs>